When the power goes out, one of the first things you think about is all the food in your refrigerator. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration has some tips for helping you keep food safe during a power outage so no one gets sick and you can minimize losses. A thermometer like this one can help you know if your food is at safe temperatures. There it is. When the power goes out, the first thing to remember is this. Keep the refrigerator and freezer doors closed as much as possible to maintain the cold temperature. Ideally, the refrigerator should always be 40 degrees Fahrenheit or below, and the freezer should be 0 degrees Fahrenheit or lower. A refrigerator will keep food cold for about four hours if you keep the door closed. A freezer will keep food frozen for about 48 hours, 24 hours if it's only half full, if you keep the door closed. If the power is expected to be out for a long time, block ice will help. Once the power is restored, check the temperature inside your refrigerator and freezer. If you don't have a thermometer in the freezer, check each package. If the food still contains ice crystals, it is safe. A word of caution, do not set food in the snow. In a snowstorm, the fresh snow may seem like nature's perfect refrigerator or freezer, but it is not recommended. Food can thaw when it is exposed to the sun's rays, and then bacteria can grow. One way that you can take advantage of the cold is by making ice. Fill buckets, empty milk cartons or cans with water, and then leave them outside to freeze. Then, use your homemade ice. Toss any perishable food, such as meat, poultry, eggs, or leftovers, that has been above 40 degrees Fahrenheit for two hours or more. Or any food that has a funny smell, color, or texture, or that feels warm to the touch. Oh. 